So in our last college football revamp dynasty, we ended up taking the Louisville Cardinals all the way to the national championship. We played in the playoffs, took out some very, very good teams, ended up beating Alabama in the national championship. It was a crazy game, a crazy season, and we got it done. We didn't really rebuild the Louisville Cardinals. They were a really good team to start with. Well, they were a decent team to start with. We just brought our own program and put it into place. So kicking off a new series here, we're gonna be rebuilding a team. We got a one-year contract and the ultimate goal here is to either do really good in this season, somehow take the talent that we have, which isn't gonna be very good and go all the way to the playoffs or you know, be a 10-win team or 11-win team or just have a crazy season. Because with this new team, we only signed a one-year contract, which opens up a lot of options for us. Or there's gonna be some top teams out there wanting to pick us up, because as a new coach, that is the ultimate goal, is to do really good at a lower school, a lower end team and try to work your way up into the sec the big 10 the big 12 the pac 12 the acc and try to get into one of those conferences and get a bigger contract and a bigger challenge in this dynasty we ended up signing with the uab blazers the university of alabama at birmingham blazers now this is a team that had a football team they took it away they brought it back and here we are guys and i want to take a look at the top 25 so basically what i did with the top 25 with the dynasty tool is i match the top 25 that we are currently in real life so going into week eight or week nine whatever it is this is the top 25 we got georgia ohio state tennessee michigan clemson alabama tcu oregon oklahoma state usc wake forest ucla penn state utah old miss syracuse illinois LSU, Kentucky, Cincinnati, North Carolina, Kansas State, Tulane, North Carolina State, and South Carolina. So this is basically matching the AP polls currently right now on week eight, like I said. The reason I did this because college football revamp don't really have the teams where they should be. Like Tennessee is a very good team this year and potentially gonna make it to the playoffs if they can get past Georgia. So they are third in the country right now and I feel like that matches them pretty good. Now, will they go undefeated in the game on this season? I don't know, but I wanted to make it as realistic as possible to this date and time. Going into this season, we don't have a crazy strong schedule. It's only a C schedule because of the conference we're in, but we're going to kick off week one against LSU. Then we're going to have a bye week. We're going to be playing Syracuse at home. Then we're going to have another bye week and we're going to be headed to Texas Christian University, TCU, the Horn Frogs. After that, it pretty much mellows out. We're going to have a bunch of conference games. So we should be able to win a lot of games this season, even if we lose those first three games. So year one of one, like I said, we signed a one year contract with uh, the UAB Blazers here. We only have to win five games this season, but we have kind of our own personal goal. Like UAB will sign an extension if we win five games this season because their program has been so bad. But deep down, I have my own personal goal and that's to get a big contract with UAB or the biggest one they can offer us by winning more games or getting a offer from a top tier team like I was speaking about earlier. So I know we were on a break for a little while. I haven't posted a video in a couple weeks, going on a few weeks, but we are finally back. We're gonna be going back to our NBA 2K series and our Madden series, but I wanted to kick it off with a brand new dynasty because you guys have been asking for it in the comments. And for all the MX and Supercross fans, we will be bringing uh, that content back once a new game does drop because the games right now, I'm just not enjoying. The only thing I'm really worried about with LSU is they do have a 90 defense now currently right now our offense is projected better than theirs but our defense is only an 80 and 80 isn't terrible but it's not great it's not a 92 sec defense so we're gonna have to really change up the playbook call some good plays hopefully our quarterback's good i gotta learn my players because i've never played with uab especially with the updated rosters i do like the name the blazers they got the dragon logo and the jerseys are i mean they're they're kind of bad. They're kind of bad. But it is what it is. Let's get into it. Let's take on the LSU Tigers. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Purple and gold will envelop the entire area. 
Tiger Stadium will be rocking, and in a matter of moments, Mike the Tiger will let out that ferocious growl that lets you know you are only one place. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where LSU will try to score an important home win. The LSU fans are already chanting as we elected to get the ball first in this first half. Brown Jr. is going to receive the kick return. Oh my goodness, look at the speed. And he's going to get a huge gain there, a 43-yard return. And there it is, coaching for his first time at UAB. We're going to start our career here. Don't know what we're going to do here at UAB. Like I said, I got to learn my players. So this is going to be a shaky first game. Hopefully it works out for us. We got our running back McBride there. He's going to pick up five yards on that reception. I guess the big thing about playing a top tier SEC team is trying to come out here and put points on the board early against them because it could be a long night with this 92 overall defense. Four yard rush there. Third and two. We got McBride. We got Hopkins at quarterback. Let's see if we can punch this one over the first down yard line. And he gets it. He gets it. McBride gets the two yard rush. We got a little bit of momentum going here. So let's see if we can continue to work on that. We got McBride with a screen pass and he's going to lose two yards on that screen play. I really wanted to play it safe, but it's second and 12th now. We need someone to get open here. They're going to send the pressure. We got a man, Davis. He's going to reach out for it. And we're going to be past the 25-yard line there. This drive has been so good so far. We got to capitalize off this. We are in the red zone now. Screen pass to the running back. McBride gets the blocker there all the way to the touchdown. And Dwayne McBride with a 20-yard reception there. Dylan Hopkins goes four for four. And we're going to put points on the LSU Tigers early in this game. And we kind of caught them off surprise with that touchdown. Oh, we got a huge upset alert here. Utah State takes down number 14, Utah, 31 to 28. Crazy things going on in the season. This is the side of the field that I'm really worried about in this first season with an 80 overall defense. It's going to be a tough season, and LSU is going to start off with the ground and pound here, running the ball for seven yards with Goodwin. And that's what the SEC likes to do, man. They like to run the ball all game long, get your defense tired, and then hit you over the top with a pass play. A lot of that. Oh, we almost had that for a tackle for a loss, but Godwin or Goodwin's going to get it all the way down to third and inches. This is definitely going to be a running play. Third and inches. Can we get his number? We don't. And Goodwin is going to get a crazy gain there. 13 yards. Third down. So we forced LSU to two third downs here. Let's see if we can actually get a stop on this opening drive for the Tigers. And he's got all day to pass the ball, and that's a terrible pass by Jaden Daniels. LSU is going to decide to punt the ball, and he's just going to kick it out of bounds here. So we're going to get the ball at about the 20-yard line, 15-yard line. Now we are on the offensive side of things, and we're going for it big here on first down. We got a man wide open. Can we get it to him? Rudolph with a crazy catch. 30-yard reception there. How did he catch that ball? Hopkins put it where he could only get it. Oh, my goodness. So we were going to run an option, but I'm going to audible to verticals because it worked out so good. We're just going to punch LSU in the mouth here, and we got McDonald wide open for a 22-yard reception. And Dylan Hopkins is going to start this game off really good, going six for six so far. Going to hand it off to McBride. He runs into his defender, and he's going to get tackled for a loss of yards. That's some of the stuff we're going to have to clean up here at UAB. We got to get our guys running good routes and not messing up and stuff like that, especially against the Tigers. We got a man wide open. That's going to be an interception from Richardson. He's going to take this one all the way if Hopkins can't get a tackle. What a big tackle by the quarterback. And he's going to hate that he threw an interception early against LSU. There's only going to be about 12 seconds left in this first quarter here for the Tigers to try to put some points on the board. A little halfback draw there. And we, we were all over that one for a zero-yard rush. I know there's a long game ahead of us, but having the, uh, the points lead here going into the second quarter is huge, especially at LSU. A little bit of quarterback draw there. We almost had Daniels down in the backfield, but he gets a seven-yard run. Third and three. 
We stopped him last time on third down. Can we stop him this time? He's got all day to throw the ball, and he just throws it out of bounds what is daniels doing only one for four in this game and i'm not gonna lie if Jaden daniels can't play any better than this they may have to bench him because they should be scoring against us pretty easily and they're gonna get that field goal there and it's gonna be seven to three we're gonna get the ball back with four minutes to go before half good kick return earlier let's see if we can do the same thing here with brown he's got the blockers oh my goodness and he gets to the outside and we're gonna be that's a 46 yard return this man is crazy now dylan hopkins has got to put the pick behind him he's got to come out here and just pass the ball how he was earlier we got a man wide open that is davis for a huge 24 yard reception. Hopkins is seven for eight right now in this game and his only drop pass or incompletion was an interception. Hopkins gonna roll out. We got a man if we can get it to him. Oh, and it gets batted down by the LSU defense. It's gonna be really hard to run against this Tigers defense, but we're gonna have to get it going here as McBride is gonna pick up seven yards. Pretty good there, I didn't expect that. Completed our only third down conversion earlier in this game. Let's see if we have any luck here. Play action with Hopkins. He's gonna roll out to the side. He's got a man across the middle of the field. Almost another interception there. Gonna force us to fourth and three. And we're gonna go ahead and bring the kicking team out. The wind is not really blowing here. Let's see if we can get this one to go. And we do. We're gonna go up 10 to three on the LSU Tigers here at their home field. Our defense has honestly stepped up huge in this game. Let's see if they can keep it going in this second quarter to finish this half out. They got a screen play. Dempsey, who can get him? We get him down. He only gets a one yard reception. It looks like LSU is really relying on number 22 Godwin, their running back. He has been the number one target in this game, running the ball, even when they pass it. Oh my goodness, that was a crazy pass. Oh, for a seven yard reception. Yo, third and two. Can we stop the Tigers here? We need this stop. We almost got the sack and it's gonna force a bad pass by Jaden Daniels. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to run very good against LSU. Their team is so good. All we can do is try to get some passing plays going. We got a man wide open, McDonald for three yards. Hopkins has 137 passing yards already in this game. LSU fans are coming alive, trying to get a stop here. Oh, and Hopkins is just going to take it. He's going to try to go for the first down, but he gets stopped one yard short. Fourth down, and these fans are coming alive here. Goal line formation. We're going to give it to McBride. He's going to bounce off his own man, and he gets a three-yard run for the first down. You have six first downs in this game. The LSU Tigers don't know what to do right now. We're going to try to keep that momentum. We got a man wide open. That's Boykin. He's going to pick up four. It wasn't great, but we'll take it. Vertical formation. Are we going to have anyone open? We got our, our running back, McBride, there. And they're all over that. Zero yards there. Only 30 seconds left before halftime. It would be nice to get at least a field goal here. We're going to bring the verticals out. Hopkins is going to roll out. We got a man wide open. What is going on? Jones is going to get all the way down the field inside the 10-yard line. Can't throw an interception here. It is very tight down here in the red zone. A little play action. Going to roll out. No one's open. We got our man, but we just couldn't get it to him. I don't know if we can trick the LSU Tigers here, but we're going to try to hand it off to McBride. See if he can punch his way in the end zone, and he does. Oh my goodness, what is going on today, fellas? We're going to put 17 points up on the board if we hit this PAT on the Tigers. The Tigers are just going to go to halftime. They're not going to try to force anything there. They're going to try to regroup as UAB has took a 17 to 3 lead here we are going off yo the start of the second half against lsu and i keep saying the number 18 lsu tigers because this is crazy that we have the lead right now good defense there as we get another drop pass daniels is just having one of those games where he is not throwing the ball good and that is absolutely incredible for us option play here can we wrap Daniels up? We do throw him on the ground. He only gets two yards. You go third and eight. Another third down play here by the Tigers. Can we force a stop? We're going to get a sack on Daniels. 
What is going on with LSU tonight? Really need to get our running game going here to burn some of this clock off. There's three minutes and 54 seconds in the third quarter. McBride gonna cut it back and actually picks up seven yards. If we score here, this is gonna be very dangerous for the LSU Tigers. Here we go. Do we got a man open? No one's open. We're going to give it to our running back. Bad pass by Hopkins, but he was getting pressured. Third and 10. We've completed about 50% so far in this game, and we get blitzed. Oh, my goodness. We get sacked for three-yard loss there, and we had no time to even think about throwing the ball. Here the ball is on the field and how good our defense is playing. We're going to go for it here against LSU. Do we have a man open? Almost throw an interception there. That was a terrible pass by Hopkins. And we're going to turn the ball over on downs. Good news is we're up by two possessions on the Tigers right now. So we have some sort of wiggle room here. Even if they get things together and try to score a touchdown. Too much time in the pocket. Our passing defense is incredible right now. So they haven't went with any long passes here. We got Daniels in the backfield by himself. I'm just going to be a QB spy here. And he's just going to throw it away. What is Daniel? What is Jaden Daniels doing for the Tigers right now? I'm going to take Taylor here. And I'm going to try to play some defense. Some zone defense. But I'm also gonna play quarterback spy and we're gonna stop goodwin there turnover on downs they try to run a screen play with the running back so going into the fourth quarter 17 to 3 over the lsu tigers this is gonna be a huge upset here today and we're only two for seven on third down so it's went downhill in the second half see if we can get anything going here we got all day to throw the ball we got a running back wide open, McBride downfield. That was a crazy 50 yard reception from Dwayne McBride. And that should pretty much do it for this game. But with the momentum we have, we're gonna try to punch this last one in the end zone. McBride up the gut, he's gonna trip for two yards. I can't believe we're about to take down the number 18 LSU Tigers. We may go into the top 25. We'll see. McBride, he's got the blockers. He's going to get into the end zone again. McBride with a crazy day. And we have called the perfect plays for him. And he gets his second touchdown of the day. And we're going to cap off that drive with an easy PAT here. 24-3. to three. What is going on? Or did we just pick the best team in the country? We take down the number 18 LSU Tigers at their home field. And we are starting our coaching career off the right way. We already got schools looking at us like who they're going to replace their coach with next season. They're like that guy at UAB, Trey Fades. He, he just coached a crazy game against the Tigers. And I don't know, we might be in the top 25. I don't know if that was enough to put us there, but we'll be very close. We went ahead and advanced to the second week here. We got a little bit more points for recruiting that we can use, but I kind of want to go check out ESPN real quick. So we're going to check out the top 25 here, see if anything changed after that game. So Georgia went and took down Texas A&M in overtime. They won, Ohio State won, Tennessee won. So nobody has lost in the top 10. Let's see if anybody else lost here. Penn State got taken down by Syracuse. So Syracuse jumped to 12th in the country. And let's see if anybody else lost. It looks like Utah. Yeah, Utah lost to Utah State. That put Utah State at number 23 in the country. South Carolina 24, Nebraska entering the top 25 here as they beat Wyoming. Hope you guys liked the video, man. We're going to do a little bit of recruiting, and then we're going to go ahead and advance to week three. But if you guys like the video, go ahead and drop a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, boys.